Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. So, in today's lesson, <clears throat> I'm going to explain to you how you can use a uh, the Make app on the phone to activate scenarios, to create buttons inside the app and activate scenarios. So let's start writing. It's pretty simple. It's pretty simple to do. It's not that hard. Uh, I'll explain it very quickly and you will know how to do it. So first, uh, why would you do that? So uh, there are instances where you want certain scenarios to run on demand. So you want them to run when you want them to run. And you don't want to log in inside of Make and put the password and authentication and go to scenarios and hit run. You don't want to do all that. You want just one click of a button for it to work. And this is where this uh, great feature that is not so much known uh, to everyone that you can use to run scenarios directly with just a click of a button. Uh, so the way you do that is uh, you add, let's uh, refresh, sometimes it uh, does this. All right, so let's add, it's called iOS. Now I have an Apple phone, but you can do Android as well, right? So whatever phone you have, so I have iOS. So what I want, so there's a lot of things here. Uh, I was surprised by these things. You can even send yourself a push notification. How awesome is that? You can integrate that in your, for example, you can make a, 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 a reminder to drink water, which reminds me now, just one second. So, you, I'm sorry, you can just uh, send a push notification uh, in, on a regular basis every hour uh, to remind you to drink water. Uh, you, you, can, you can utilize it a lot. You can, you, you can make an, uh, a notification to send every while with a code that you want to remember or something. There's a lot of things here you can, uh, uh, you can do. But what I want to do is I want to watch for a button. So this is instant. So... I want to watch for a button. So as you see, this is instant. So as soon as uh, as soon as the button on my cell phone is clicked, then this uh, this runs basically. Uh, so what do I need to do to, in order to make this work? First of all, you need to have a device on hand, right? So as you can see here, I need to create a device. So before you start, okay, let I can I can name iPhone for example. Continue. Then it asks you uh, to scan. So you should scan the code that is in here, right? Uh, with, your, with your cell phone. So go to, go to the App Store in this case and search for Make. In this, inside of the App Store, search for Make and you will find a Make app. Download that, download that app. And once you download the app, you can scan this code and it will link it to your account, okay? Now, after, the, after you link it to your account, you can select the device in here, and that's it. Next thing you want to, you want to do is to create a button, and, and the way to do that, I have an image here, so this is on my cell phone. I, I clicked on buttons, then create a button, and this showed up, so create a button. Uh, now you have to name the button, and once you choose a name, it will directly put an ID, right? to you and the ID is basically the name with uh, <clears throat> with a dash in between right so this is the ID this is sample button now this is very important this is what you want to put in here so you you just need to put to put exactly what's here in here right uh, select the device put the button ID in here and click OK so once you do that Whenever you click the button on your uh, Make app, it will trigger instantly whatever you have in here, whatever chain of, uh, uh, <clears throat> whatever, whatever scenario you have in here, you could have a big scenario here that does something on, uh, on demand. So instead of uh, opening Make and running it from here, you can have that as a button on your. So imagine it as a shortcut on your on your uh, on your device. 
where you can just click one thing and it will do several things. In this case, you click, you click the button inside of the Make app on your cell phone and it triggers the whole scenario to run. So uh, it's very simple. Again, you only need to choose either uh, iOS or Android. Add your, add your device with the QR code. Uh, then go to the app, create a button, name it, take the, 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 the button ID, insert the button ID here and click OK, and that's it. That's basically it. Uh, I hope that is uh, beneficial to you guys. Uh, I hope you could use that in your uh, future scenarios. I use that, uh, to be honest, and I found it as a great feature. I will leave some links in the description as usual, some useful stuff. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next lesson.